You've probably seen the warning labels on boxes of 22 long rifle ammunition saying that they have a range of one mile. Some boxes say one and a half miles and even some say they're dangerous within two miles. And that's just a tiny 36 to 40 grain projectile traveling around 1260 feet per second. So if a very small projectile can travel that kind of distance, what about a 12 gauge 3 inch magnum slug? Weighing in at 437 grains, this 1 ounce slug has over 12 times the mass of this tiny 22 bullet and is traveling 440 feet per second faster. Logic tells us that the range of the slug must be 3, 4, maybe 5 miles. Well, we did find some charts on the internet saying how far a 1 ounce slug will travel, though we don't know what brand or type of slug that is. But this chart says the slug will travel 3,750 feet. Now this chart's a little more specific and it says no matter what shell, length, or charge, according to this chart, the slug will travel 3,750 feet at sea level or 5,250 feet if you're at 12,000 feet of elevation where the air is a lot thinner. So it looks like somebody actually did some testing because we have some very specific numbers. Now, if I told you that a golfer can drive a golf ball further than a 12 gauge magnum slug, you'd probably say I was crazy. We got something a little bit different for you here today. We're going to see if a man can drive a golf ball further than a, what is this? One ounce slug out of a three it's inch. It's a magnum slug, buddy. Magnum. Three inch, 1,700 feet per second. Yeah. Most powerful slug I could find it locally. Okay. We've got a white door at 500 yards. And we've got our range marked off at uh, starting at 100 yards and uh, every 50 yards beyond that. And we're going to start out with a level shot, see where it lands. Start raising our elevation and see how far we can get it out there. Yeah, I'm curious if just shooting at level, just how far a slug will actually travel to. This is good information because it's, it's you know, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. There was a, some documentation that said that a one ounce slug would go 3,750 feet over a over thousand yards, uh. which is absolutely, I mean, that's, that's why people, you know, they see cars in the background that are three and a half miles away why they freak out over there because they think slugs travel over a thousand yards well anyhow we're uh we're gonna either prove or disprove that myth yeah i want to i want to see how far we we can i mean that door is tiny down there it is tiny and uh if you ever get a chance to measure out 500 yards at, you know that's a long ways five football fields five football fields Danny will be shooting down this long, dusty road that is closed off. There's no people around, trust me. And he'll be aiming at the center of the door, which is 500 yards away. We've carefully marked off the course using 100-yard markers with orange cones as 50-yard markers between those. We'll not only be able to observe the initial impact, but also see how far the slug will skip down the road. Aiming at the center of the door, using zero holdover, in other words, the slug traveled 270 yards before impacting the dirt. We expected the slug to continue traveling down the road, but it didn't. It yawed off to the left and impacted at 320 yards before going out of frame. We decided to take another level shot hoping to see the slug skip straight down the road. But again, after the initial impact, the slug veered sharply to the left, kicking up a cloud of dust at 300 yards, and then skipping again to 400 yards before disappearing. I'm gonna bring it up about another, uh, let's say, eight feet over the door. Okay, like double the height of the door? Yes. Using 11 feet of holdover, we gained about 150 yards, but at the cost of accuracy, the slug was way off to the left. And remember, these slugs only have an effective range of under 100 yards. Um, 
about three times the height of the door. Okay. Using 18 feet of holdover, the slug only traveled 410 yards. So we only gained about 20 yards with that higher angle. In other words, we've pretty much reached the maximum range these slugs can possibly travel, and just angling the gun up to, towards the sky even further is not going to really yield better results. Now many people are going to say that holding the gun at a 30 to 45 degree angle is gonna yield longer ranges. Yeah, that definitely works in video games like Shell Shock, but it does not account for drag. The projectile stays at a constant velocity and never slows down. So in this case, yeah, they'll go further. That's probably uh, 100 feet. There we go. Since we had no idea where this slug went, we decided that's a bad idea. We wanted to keep control of this experiment and that's not how you do it. One very simple way to demonstrate what's going on is using a water hose. The pressure and velocity remain the same and as we angle it up, yeah, we do see it increase in range, but it's not doubling like some people might expect. A lot of the energy is just being eaten up by just the fact that you're trying to push it higher and higher into the sky. But even this experiment doesn't really factor in drag very much. Our shotgun slugs are going from 1700 feet per second to probably around 400 feet per second by the time they get out to about 300 yards. Now this is what I would call a semi-scientific experiment. Your results might vary. We used the most common type of foster slug you can buy and found the most powerful one we could find. And remember the chart that I showed you at the beginning of the video stated that any one ounce slug, no matter what powder load or shell type, is going to travel 1,250 yards. We were unable to reach even half that distance, even when you're counting how far the slugs were skipping on the ground. So it's a good idea to know how far your ammunition will actually travel, but it's also a good idea to give yourself a big margin of safety beyond that range. Now it's no fun at all shooting magnum slugs from a rest, so we gotta give Danny a lot of credit here for his persistence and toughness. Thank you, Danny. So how does this compare to how far a human can drive a golf ball? Well, there's some called long drive competitions where competitors drive golf balls as far as they can down a, what looks like a really long football field. And those folks using just their muscles can drive those golf balls as far as the shotgun slugs that Danny was slinging down the road. But it doesn't end there. Recently in England they were driving golf balls down a runway and they reached a new world record of 657 yards. And yes, that guy is an amputee. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. This video would not have been possible without our wonderful Patreon supporters. Thank you all. I wish I could hug you all. And we're doing a little experiment here. Because YouTube's subscriber notification system is so screwed up, we're going to do an experiment where we do not notify our subscribers on this video. And it's my theory that the subscriber notifications or lack of actually hurt a video's performance, believe it or not. So do me a favor, tell me how you found this video. I'd love to hear it and maybe we can finally figure this craziness out. Thanks for watching.